Well, today I'm with Dr. Paul Meachin, who is an expert in the biosafety field. He has experience with pharmaceutical companies and the CDC. Welcome, Dr. Meachin. How are you? I'm great, Jeff. I'm glad to be here again. Yeah. How Frank, are you doing now, today? You're now a frequent guest of our, our show. Um, today we're going to talk about why can't I get my vaccine? What a topic. Why can't I get my vaccine? And it's a personal thing with me because I'm now of the age where supposedly I can get it. And I do have my appointment, I'll, I will say that, but it took a lot of work and it's still not for another uh, about two weeks out. So what's going on with that, Dr. Meach? And why, why can't we, you know, they, they want us to get our vaccines. There's all these websites. Boy, it's about that's impossible. The, that's half the problem. So there's two real issues involved. One is the supply. So though the current three licensed vaccines in the United States, Moderna, Pfizer, and now Johnson Johnson or Janssen, same company, had to ramp up supply, uh, their, their, their manufacturing orders of magnitude over what they were doing before they got approval. And remember, they only got approval at the end of last year and into early this year. So they haven't had much time. And they're making millions of doses a week. That's an extraordinary effort. And as they expand, those facilities need to be compliant with all the work that they've told the FDA they would do. So it's very difficult to bring additional manufacturing capacity online. For Johnson & Johnson, they went from not having any approval at all to trying to grow thousands of liters of the cells that they get the virus out of. And that's actually not an easy trick. So they've been trying to optimize it at the same time they've been approving it. And so the pipeline is not as robust as we'd like. That's half of it. The second half is, and I'm gonna say this bluntly, is political. Instead of having a national system where you would call or register and say, okay, I'm, I'm over 65, I have a health issue, or your physician could do that. Every state has one, at least one. And in states like I'm in Maryland, it's actually by county. And so you have to go and find the site that is registering people for those appointments, those few appointments based on, on the supply. And that's just wasted effort, huge wasted redundancy in terms of all these different programs. And so between the lack of supply and the lack of coordination at the state and local level has led to this incredible disconnect. And it's made it very difficult, especially if you're not computer savvy. And when we start talking about the initial people that have gotten the vaccine, those over 65, those over 75, we're talking about people who, by and large, are not the most computer. Generally, we ask our grandchildren to help us get onto the computer and, and identify the websites. So the technology has not been made friendly enough for the people who need access to it. So for all those reasons, it's why we're having some the difficulty that we're having. Yeah, so I consider myself somewhat computer savvy. I can type about 100 words a minute. I was on a site this morning, Dr. Meachin, where I, I found the appointment. There were lots of them. I, I chose a time. I type out the form. Oh, your appointment was taken while you were filling out the form. It told me that. I'm not going to say which uh, company it was. And then I did it again. I picked another time. Oh, all that work, nothing happened. Nothing I happened. finally was able to get on a site through a, uh, a medical group here in Ohio. And I have to go to another town to uh, get my vaccine. So yeah, not easy. A lot of hoops to jump through and a lot of frustration. So I feel for those who might not even have a computer, they might use their phones or be of an older generation. Didn't your wife have an issue getting her vaccine? She did. And she's over 65 and a registered nurse and she's volunteering to give out the COVID vaccine. And yet the state was unable to provide her an appointment for it. We eventually found it. In Maryland, a computer programmer went and pulled all the different sites together into one overriding program. And so we went on that and went down through all the different places that were offering the vaccine and finally found her a site that was open. But it took weeks to make that happen. So so tell me, she's she's been putting the vaccine in arms of patients. She volunteered to do it. She'll start that in the next two weeks. Okay. But okay. not enough time for her to become immune. No, no. And unable to get a vaccine. Yeah, I was on... 
Yeah, I was on one site uh, this morning and it, it had an hour wait just to get on the website. It had a little walking man across saying, you will be allowed in the website in an hour. After an hour passed, it said, oh, we don't have any appointments. So, And th does that not amaze you that a computer system had an hour backlog? That's, incre that's insane. Yeah, yeah. A phone, I can understand. There's a person, they're taking information. A computer system with an hour? There it might have been a gimmick. Wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, and, and but to be honest, that up till recently, the states have had limited amount of funding to support this effort. And so they're relying on a lot of volunteers to make these websites and make them work. And so we are getting what we have paid for. And hopefully with additional funding now coming from the federal government, by the time those under 64, the bulk of the population can get the vaccine, there will be better websites. It's yeah. an evolving process. Sure is. Well, uh, hopefully the next time we talk, we'll have our own vaccines done and your wife will get hers and uh, we'll, we'll hit this topic again. Well, I hope so because I'm not 65. And so I'm in the last group to get vaccinated. So I really want this to, <laughs> to streamlined. You might need to move to a different state. <laughs> Possibly. All right. Dr. Mason, right. thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Take care, Jeff.